that I love you. Have I told you there's no... And the, in the, the ingredients of the product are interchangeable. If we have product A with ingredient X and ingredient Y, so that in order to produce one unit of a product, maybe we may use three liters of X, three liters of X, and maybe we need two liters of Y. So this product has got two ingredients. The standard mixture here is three is the two. The total mixture is five liters we need. In other words, for X, we require three out of five to be X, according to the standard. And we require two out of five to be Y. We can calculate a mixed variance because when we actually produce this product, the standard mixture may be different from the actual mixture. Let us say that the cost of the standard mixture is three liters, costing us two dollars. And here is two liters, costing us four dollars. When we change the mixture, the actual mixture may differ from the standard mixture, it is possible for us to calculate the variance. In other words, to summarize, we are able to calculate the mixed variance. We are able to calculate a mixed variance when the mixture of the ingredients of a product can be changed so that the standard mixture will be different from the actual mixture. In this case, the standard mixture is 3 is to 2 for ingredient X and ingredient Y. What we need to calculate a mixed variance, if for example we said we have produced 1,000 units, 1,000 units of this product, with 1,000 units, it is possible that the mixture of the 1,000 units, let us say, use 10,000 liters. 1,000 units, we can say, right, in this case, 1,000 units use 10,000 liters. To the extent that the mixture is 5,000 liters out of X and 5,000 liters out of Y. In that case, we have what we call actual mixture. The actual mixture is 5,000 liters of X and 5,000 liters of Y. The total quantity would be 10,000 liters. What we need to do now in order to get our mixed variance is to take this total quantity and calculate a standard mixture out of the 10,000. For the exams, all we have to do is to cut this and paste it here. Then we will call this the standard mixture. We are trying to calculate the standard mixture out of the total ingredients that have actually been used. We can see here our standard mixture is 3 is to 2 for X and Y. So we would have to apply 3 is to 2 for the 10,000 liters and call it a standard mixture, which would mean that here we we'll use 3,000 liters according to the standard, and here we will have 2,000 liters according to the standard. Now we, what we got is an actual mixture and a standard mixture. We have the cost of the product, 2 times 3, that's a 6, and 2 times 4, that's an 8, meaning that the cost of one unit is 14. With this information, we can summarize here that the actual mixture is 5,000 liters and 5,000 liters of Y, making it 10,000 liters for X and for Y. The standard mixture now, out of this 10,000 liters, as we say, cut it and paste it here, we have got 3,000 liters and 2,000 liters. No, 3,000, that's 3 over 5, multiply by this, that will be, sorry, 6,000 liters here. 6,000 liters and 4,000 liters, our standard mixture. Our standard mixture is 6,000 liters and 4,000 liters. That is 3 over 5, multiply by 10,000, give us 6,000. And 3 over 2 over 5, multiply by 10,000, also give us 4,000. So we have a standard mixture of 6,000 
and 4,000. Right? Now that we have the actual mixture and the standard mixture, we can go ahead and calculate the variance. The variance will be 5 minus 6, that's 1,000. Because the actual is lower, it is a favorable variance. Then we have 5 minus 4, another 1,000. The actual is higher, so it's an adverse variance. The mixed variance in quantity is, will always add up to zero. The value of the variance is derived out by taking the standard price. The standard price for X, we said, is $2. The standard price for X is $2. So we multiply it by $2 here. The standard price for Y is $4. Then we have the value of the mixed variance. The total mixed variance, therefore, is $2 the standard price minus the difference between the actual mixture for X and the standard mixture component for X. That gives us 1,000 multiplied by 2 gives us 2,000 favorable. And then we have here another 1,000 multiplied by 4, that's 4,000 adverse. The total mixed variance, therefore, is 2,000 favorable plus 4,000 adverse. That gives us 2,000 adverse. This is how we calculate the mixed variance. So what did we do to get a mixed variance? In the exam question, we are given the standard proportion. Then the question will give us the actual quantity used to produce the output of when 1,000, we get the actual quantity of 5,000 liters of X and 5,000 liters of Y. Out of the total actual of 10,000, we calculate the standard mixture. The standard mixture therefore becomes 10,000 still, but split into 2 is to 3, we get 6,000 and 4,000. What we do next, we take the actual mixture and compare it with the standard mixture to get the variance in quantity. When we get the variance in quantity, the next thing that we do, we multiply by the standard price in order to get the value of the mixed variance. Thank you. Da 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 da